And these shootings have happened in so many places, as we know, concerts, schools, bars and shopping centers. A year ago this month, a man shot and killed two people and injured 11 others at the Jacksonville Landing. If you find yourself in a situation like that, it is recommended that you run, hide or fight. On your side, Troy Kless joins us live with more from our First Coast News crime expert, Troy. That's exactly right. We're live here at TIAA Bank Field next to Daly's Place where there's actually a concert going on. And of course, there is a visible security presence in the form of JSO officers and other security guards. Now, our First Coast News crime and safety expert says it all depends on the situation and where you are in relation to a threat. And that being aware of your surroundings can also make a difference. Two mass shootings in one day. Scenes that law enforcement officers must be ready at any moment to respond to. Every officer that's out there on the road has had active shooter training and how they're going to respond along with all the other units that are heading to that particular uh, incident. On the phone is crime and safety expert Mark Bachman, who reminds others that no matter what setting you're in, the same principles can be used to respond to an active shooter while help is on the way. I don't necessarily think it's the run, hide, and fight in that order. I think it, it's one of those three, depending on where you are in proximity to the threat. If you're in a position where you could overcome the individual with a weapon and they didn't see you, well, there's your fight. Bachman adds that no matter where you are, be aware of your surroundings, know where the nearest exit is, and if you see something, say something. He also mentioned that areas like bars or shopping centers can be vulnerable because of their levels of security. But of course, we see in events like concerts, Jaguars games, Florida, Georgia, there was some level of man security here in Jacksonville. We're live at TIAA Bank Field tonight. Troy Kless, First Coast News on your side.